last day of sledding for us here in this part of Canada. Eastern Canada, it's a mild day, it's about the 24th of March. Thought we'd come out show you how to use this little snow bungee here. We have the other types too, we'll see if we can get a little bit of use out of. But we're crossing this little water section here. And Rockstar, right here, my son, he uh, sort of put it in the drink here a little bit. You know, you could probably get this out pretty easily by just grabbing the ski and pulling it, but you can really do it a lot easier if you just use this little rattler here from Snow Bungee. Uh, you just basically use your body weight with this with a little bit of stored up or kinetic energy once you pull on it. So it's going to make the extraction of this sled out of this little pond here a little bit easier. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start the sled up. I'm going to give her a quick pull and it'll be out. It's a back saver. Yeah, let's go do it again. <laughs> well, this is some nasty snow. It's very heavy on a day like today. We were just playing around and Robbie got stuck. So I'm going to try this again. You've seen all my other extraction videos. We're just playing around here today, seeing what this will get out of. It's pretty, pretty packed in here in the front. So let's see if we can get this in. I'll try one more time. That's a good one though. That's a good one. Hold on. Try this here. No. No way. I've tried the rattler and this sled is not coming out with that. Maybe with two guys on it, there's a potential that yes, it probably would come out. But what we're gonna do, we're just gonna use the snow bungee itself. Sometimes I find that this is a little short and you can't get quite close enough to the sled, especially if you're in the really deep powder. So Snow Bungee thinks of it all. They came up with the slick tape. This is a pretty handy little thing. It's a length of about 20 feet of strapping, very tough. And the cool thing about the slick tape is this. You slide it under the back of the ski, slip it under the ski, Good. Watch out there, Rob. Now what? Good. Now what happens is I'm going to pull him out, and when he comes out, he can just keep driving. The tape will just slip right off the back of his ski, and then he's out. Now there are a couple of important safety points you got to look at when you're using a kinetic recovery device. Never attach it to a plastic bumper or anything like a ski loop. And once you give it some throttle, there's a potential it's going to rip that piece of plastic off. Then you've got a more or less a slingshot. Something's going to come and hit you. Make sure that both guys on the sleds have their helmets on. And the name of this game is to take your time and don't overdo it. Like I've done some pretty big pulls with these. As you've seen, I've pulled trucks out with them. I've pulled some sleds up some very steep inclines in some very bad conditions but you don't need to really hammer on it too much. You're just gonna increase the chances that you're gonna run into an issue with pulling something like that too hard. So we're just gonna give it enough power to actually just pull this out. Let's see how it's done. So as you can see, I used very little power, very little pressure on there to actually pull them out. I took up the slack on the line before I pulled them out. You don't back up bumper to bumper and then full throttle it out. You're gonna run into problems. You've seen videos, I'm sure, where things have let go. You don't need to do that. This device works just perfectly if you use it perfectly and use it the way you're supposed to. Now, when you wanna go buy this, make sure you give firstplacepartscom a call. Tell them Louis from PowerMod sent you. They ship free in the United States and they ship USPS to Canada. What more can you ask for? Thanks for watching. Make sure you check us out on Facebook and on YouTube. Hit the big old thumbs up if you like my videos. I'm Louis Skibo. Have a good day.